click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends uh, this is a problem based on product mix we have got two products x and y and we need to decide how to formulate it let's read the problem first and then we will proceed further Raj and Billy Moria Associates produce three items X, Y, and Z. There are three different products X, Y, and Z, of which have to be processed through machines P, Q, and R. So P, Q, and R are the three different resources which are used to manufacture three different products X, Y, and Z. Each unit of X requires three, four, and two hours on machine P. Q and R. Similarly, each unit of Y requires 5, 4 and 4 hours on machine P, Q and R. Whereas for product Z, these requirements are 2, 4 and 5 hours on these three machines P, Q and R. Every day 60 hours are available for machine P. So machine P ka aapke paas 60 hours hai. 72 hours on machine Q and 100 hours on machine R. The unit contribution of these products X, Y, and Z are 5 rupees, 10 rupees, and 8 rupees, respectively. Formulate the linear programming problem. Uh, we are going to solve on, only up to this part. Earlier in the old syllabus for CMA, we had simplex method, we had simplex sensitivity. But right now, under the new syllabus, we are confined to only formulation based problems not even solving a problem based on graphical method and therefore I, I won't read the question further I'll just stop here uh, let's first try to tabulate this into a table and then we can proceed further to formulate the problem so here is my table now so we first note down the products x y and z in the columns so here is my product x product y and product z and then we have machines machine P machine Q and machine R and we also know the profits so what is the time taken by each of the machine for each of the product so for X it is 3, 4 and 2 hours on P, Q and R. X may 3, 4 and 2 hours. In case of Y requires 5, 4 and 4 on P, Q and R. Y may 5, 4 and 4. And in case of Z it is 2, 4 and 5. 2, 4 and 5 and then we are given the profits so profits for these three products or the contribution for these three products is 5, 10 and 8 so I will write down 5, 10 and 8 and then we are also given the machine time we have 60 hours of P, 72 of Q and 100 of R so P ka 60 hours, 72 hours and 100 hours. This is the time available. What next? We will make the assumptions first. We will assume X1 units of product X, X2 units of product Y and X3 units of product Z are manufactured. So let's first write down the assumptions. Let x1 units of x, x2 units of y, and x3 units of z are manufactured. My basic assumption. And then the next part, my objective function. My objective function will be 
maximize the contribution or the profit z equals to how much is my profit per unit my profit per unit for product x is 5 y 10 z 8 so profit per unit multiplied by number of units profit per unit multiplied by number of units so it will be 5 x 1 plus 10 x 2 plus 8 x 3 this is my profit 5 x 1 plus 10 x 2 plus 8 x3 subject to what are my constraints I have got three constraints or two constraints here three constraints for three machines for machine P it will be 3 x1 plus 5 x2 that is the total time plus 2 x3 less than or equal to 60 3 x1 plus 5 x2 plus 2 x3 less than or equals to 60 for machine Q, it will be 4x1 plus 4x2 plus 4x3 less than or equal to 72. 4x1 plus 4x2 plus 4x3 less than or equal to 72. And for machine R, it will be 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 5x3 less than or equal to 100. So 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 5x3 less than equals to 100 and then I will have my non-negativity constraints which will be x1 more than equals to 0, x2 more than equals to 0, x3 more than equals to 0. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel, Ikeda.